That's the propane mix. It seems to be about the hottest size. There it goes. That was pressure built up though. That's how much propane is modifying that hydrogen flame. Not much more than this lighter. This is a liter per minute test on the propane. It's a 500 milliliter bottle. Okay, just bear in mind there are obvious flaws with the accuracy of this test. First of all, it's not done at standard temperature and pressure. So the liter per minute reading we get is just based on the equipment that I'm using and the temperature of the gas coming out of my cell and out of this. It's at the theoretical one liter point, but I'm going to let it go past for the inaccuracies of flipping it over. And there was air in the gas hose also. time. Okay. So it took 6 minutes 23 seconds to do half a liter just to kind of check the math. I multiplied 6 minutes and 23 seconds by 2 and came up with 12.71 minutes. You then divide one liter by that, which equals the 0 0.078. Just in case anyone wants to check the math I used to figure that out, it's just this is totally approximate. We have 0 0.078 liters per minute on the propane. So that was only 1.3 liters per minute at 507 watts because my electrolyte was really cold. When it gets up to about 120, it does about 1.5 liters per minute. I know you can't see this very well, but I'm going to show what happens when the tiny white cone hits the copper. Or actually, this is just copper plated steel. Okay, I'm going to touch the cone to the metal. was able to cut oxyhydrogen wasn't able to do that it would weld right back together yeah so this thing is cutting like a cutting torch with that little tip Do an experiment. I'm gonna shut down the propane. Let me show you what I mean about reweld. When you're trying to cut with this gas, the metal pools right back together, right behind the flame. Well, actually, this time it's working, but. as effective just 
just pools up in the metal. Yeah. Killing my torch here. Yeah, that's a far better cut. A hydrogen flame has a tendency for the metal to just re-pool and re-weld right behind it. Whereas, I don't know if it was the extra pressure of the propane causing it to cut better or the, just the position of the metal itself. Sometimes you need gravity to help you. You need to cut in a downward direction and gravity will let the metal fall out of the way.